Right, so early in the year there were many leaks regarding a new Apple TV in the works and then those rumours kind of died down but now German does tell us that yes, the Apple TV refresh is still in the works and it could launch in just a few weeks and so let's delve into it. So yes, recently in case you weren't aware, German has discussed the possibility of no October event and instead we have press releases and amongst the products that could get a press release, German did say 2022 Apple TV is in the works and it's getting a RAM boost alongside the A14 chip. Now personally I'm excited for this because I do plan to get my first Apple TV since the Samsung OS on my current TV is pretty slow and clunky and so I would love to see Apple's interpretation of a TV experience with this new refresh. I am however hoping this version of the TV is cheaper because I still think this is too expensive for most consumers. Yes the Apple TV is pretty advanced but most consumers don't need all those features. And so having two properties of the Apple TV, a basic version and of course a pro version would make sense. Since the more Apple does right now have two tiers of the Apple TV, but of course the HD model's archaic and has been around for years. It's very slow with the A8 chip and so Apple's better killing that off and either give us a cheaper Apple TV that has better specs and replaces the HD or of course they release a pro variant and the current 4K model comes down in price. Now personally I'm thinking the latter is going to be the case due to of course this getting the A14 chip. I'm sure that's going to be great for arcade alongside of course the RAM boost and so that being a pro variant could make sense. But for those like myself who just want the bare bones TV experience, the 4K Apple TV Apple currently sells is more than fine, it just would be nice to see of course a price cut. Because at the end of the day more Apple TVs in more homes does benefit Apple since this is the gateway to services like Apple TV Plus and arcades which is recurring revenue for Apple but also of course it locks consumers into the ecosystem, CS. So yes, I think Apple would benefit greatly with, of course, a lower price point for the Apple TV. And personally, I'm hoping it could be $100 or something just above that. I think that would be a good price point. And in fact, in the past, Apple was selling the Apple TV for $99 and even lower the third gen Apple TV to $69 and so I'm praying we see those prices for this year's Apple TVs. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the Apple TV's price is the main barrier that's putting off consumers. Take for example the HomePod, that was also too expensive at launch, and so Apple gave us a cheaper variant, the HomePod Mini which was $100, and that took off in sales. And so yes, do the same for the TV, give us the bare bones experience at a lower price. And in fact, in the past, there has been talk of Apple TV sticks, essentially Apple's take on Fire Sticks, and I personally think that would be great, but apparently Apple cancelled the project because it might not fit with Apple's luxury image, and I'm not exactly sure why they think this, because Apple does sell cheap products, the budget iPad's not a luxury product, the same goes for the HomePod Mini, so of course, why is Apple worrying about that when offering a cheaper stick? Anyways, there's also been code referring to a new remote in the works and I don't think this will be replacing the existing remote because that's perfect as is, everyone loves it and so either this is a cheap remote, Apple's going to be offering with a lower end variant with less features or of course it could be a gaming controller because Apple is still trying to make arcade something big and so offering a native controller for the TV makes sense. And yeah, the current Siri remote does not have the gyroscope and the accelerometer the previous remotes had and while that's needed for Apple TV games and so for those into Apple TV gaming they can now get a controller instead. And by the way, fun fact about the remote for you guys, there was actually a Siri remote in the works that had a finger rest on the back but this never made it to the final version so maybe there is a chance this new version of the remote is actually a pretty simple update and gives us a finger rest. Now regarding other upgrades, there's really not much. This is going to be a chip refresh and a price point refresh, but that's about it. And I guess that does kind of make sense because we did recently get an Apple TV refresh in 2021 that of course has Wi-Fi 6 support, HDMI 2.1, so connectivity wise, the Apple TV is already quite good. Now release wise, obviously it's going to be a press release due to the lack of major upgrades. That's completely fine. And as for the date, well, we don't know just yet, but based on what German tells us, 
we should see the release in just a few weeks. Anyways, let's delve into your comments. So Mahana regarding the Apple TV stick says, we probably won't get a remote with it. And yeah, that does make sense because the existing remote is $59 and this stick is going to be less than $100. And so yeah, either Apple gives us a cheaper remote, or like Mahana says, they give you no remote, and instead you rely on your iPhone to control your TV. So Majora says, if Apple Arcade gets some really good exclusive games, the Apple TV might have a place as a very affordable gaming console, and yes, I completely agree with this. Apple should focus on getting some good titles for Apple Arcades, and as soon as they can hook consumers, they will be buying many Apple TVs. But it really all depends on the gaming titles and the developers they hire, because right now I don't think there's really a standout game on Arcades. Now I don't have Arcade myself, so I can't say much about it, but I haven't heard many rave about the Arcade platform, so I do think Apple should really be working with developers on AAA titles that could work with their devices. So KK says, I think they should focus on an Apple TV stick. A cheaper version, maybe around $50 would be a steal. And then regarding the gaming version of the Apple TV, they say that Apple does not have the content to of course match rivals. And yeah, that's a very fair point. Clearly Apple is still ways away from competing with Xbox and Sony, but then of course, You've got to remember this would be a lot cheaper than those consoles. And so I don't think Apple needs massive titles. They just need one or two solid games on the arcade platform that hooks consumers. And that should be enough right now till of course they can work on other games. But yes, I'm completely with you on the stick. I've been wanting this for years. However, I do want to say that $50 does seem unlikely because even if Apple's products are cheap, they are still slightly more expensive than the competition, so I do think this will be closer to $99 if it does materialize. Anyways, tell me your thoughts regarding this report in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the above on details regarding the iPhone 15 series. And on that note, see ya peeps.